Oh my god. thinking it's a little windy but I think we're gonna be fine so for today's goal with this beauty I want to know if I can wheelie 30 meters in one hour let's put some zeros on the clock let's see on my auntie's extra small bike made for extra small people the first step was to see where I was starting how far could I wheelie out of the gate with the notorious Wellington winds flying through. This weather sucks. I decided to call it a day. With the storm now past, I spent the first bit of time seeing what I could naturally do with the knowledge and experience I already had. So with the wheelie, what I already know is that you should get the pedal for the foot that's going to propel you up at a 90 degree angle, and then use the force of your foot to push in the pedal, lifting the handlebars up at the same time, and therefore you have a wheelie. And I think from reading online that you're actually meant to use the back brake to control as you're going along. Oh. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. So 30 meters is pretty far for me right now. So I'm just going to go from, from this line to this line. Spike is awful. Oh, that was halfway, sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're on to 15 meters. <sighs> Thought this is going to be easy. can't pull the bloody back brake. So I think I figured out a problem. I can't regulate the back brake. My injured finger gets in the way. The brakes on this bike are terrible and super spongy. So typically a brake would kick in a quarter of the range, but the back brake is not kicking in until like the very end of the squeeze. So I can't regulate the back wheel to keep myself up. So I just keep falling backwards. I'm not quite sure what to do. Maybe get my finger out the way, or just get a new bike. I have myself a new bike. One that actually has a back brake that I can use with my finger. I got to use the back brake. Let's see. Right, here we go. <laughs> Terrible. Feels a lot more comfortable. Now that I had my hands on a working bike, I could start to focus on the other moving parts that make up a wheelie. I'm just not quite sure what gear to have it in. Can't seem to wheelie in a straight line. Nope, going the wrong way. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. I think the key is to have a harder gear. Maybe. I don't even know. I did it. After hitting 11 meters, I was ready to give 30 meters a try. Let's do this. There's a pole in my way and grass. Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to move to another place. So I set up another 30 meters, this time on the grass, so there's no pole to contend with. Where I'm standing right now is the end, and up here somewhere, right there, is the beginning, and that is 30 meters. Let's do it. Oof. It's very different on grass. It's like learning again. On the soggy, damp grass, I was barely able to make any progress. I must admit, I'm struggling. I just watched a YouTube video and apparently you're not to bend your arms at all. You're meant to have straight arms when doing a wheelie. My arms are definitely bent and I can get away with it for a couple of meters, but beyond that, I need a change of approach. And according to this tutorial, I need to have straight arms and actually use my legs to get the front wheel up and maintain the balance through the bike as opposed to fighting it with my arms. When you use your arms, you tend to lean forwards into the bike a lot more. So you have a very small balance point. Now, apparently if you have straight arms, that balance point is increased so that you have more possibility of staying up for a longer period of time. And I need that in order to get 30 meters. The second thing that I took away from the tutorial, you don't wanna have your seat too low, and I'm not entirely sure why, but more importantly, you don't want it too high because then you're reaching for the pedals and then that throws your balance out of whack. Before you know it, you're falling either to the right, which is mostly what I'm doing, nope. or to the left. So, let's do it. 30 meters, use my legs and go. Nope, using my arms too much. <sighs> With the one hour mark coming and going, it was obvious that achieving the wheelie on grass just wasn't gonna happen. Wow, this is tiring. I need to find a new spot. Ow. By far, the hardest part about this challenge is finding a place that is flat for 30 meters. Wow. One, two, three, four, three, nine, thirty. Literally searching high and low for over 30 minutes. The only spot I could find was once again on grass. Oh, oh man. Why is there no flat place anywhere? <sighs> Damn impossible. Wellington left me no choice but to come to a parking lot. It was the only place that I could find that was flat, that was on concrete, that had a distance longer than 30 meters. So I'm feeling it. I feel like I'm gonna get it done. Let's do it. With all the newfound flat space to myself, it was all about repetition, figuring out what was working and what was not, and making the necessary changes needed to achieve the 30 meter wheelie. And one element that was becoming more and more apparent was my inability to turn left. No. Keep going to the right. I can't turn left. 
I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who can't turn... Inspired by Zoolander's condition and feeling less alone, I knew that if I was going to progress, I'd have to find the courage and turn left. That is the best I've got so far. After a few attempts focusing on my left turn, I was able to see the payoff. Each round getting further and further. Focused and determined to achieve the 30 meters, I went for it. Incorporating the techniques that I'd learned, power through the bike with my legs, regulate the back brake, and of course, I turned left! turn left. Here it was. Three hours and 33 minutes longer than I anticipated, had finally achieved the 30 meter wheelie. I just did it. Oh my God. This has been so hard and tiring. I didn't realize how tiring doing a wheelie was. My goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for being here. 90 odd percent of you are not subscribed to this channel. So go ahead, please subscribe. Makes a huge difference. That's it. Bye. That was sketchy.